Cleanse me from eat guilt and power. The peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. It's a new day, the day the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. The God of all grace. Why a bio? Why a bio? He has given us life. We give him praise. We honor the Lord. We bless his holy name. What shall we render unto the Lord for what he has done for us? Wherever you are, the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. A theme for reflection today a David inquired of the Lord. David inquired of the Lord. 1 Samuel 23 1 to 14. 1 Samuel 23, 1 to 14. Na David Ebisa Ever. I pray that whatever we do, we inquire from the Lord. We see God's direction in whatever we do. The Bible says that. And David and his men, which were about 600, arose and departed out of Kela and went wheresoever they could go. And it was told that. So Thor saw that David was escaped from Kela, and he forbade to go forth. And David abode in the wilderness in strongholds, and remained in a mountain in the wilderness of Zip, and saw sought every day. But God delivered him, God delivered him not into his hand. And God delivered David not into Saul's hand. Hallelujah. People of God, 1 Samuel 23, the chapter contains the story of David's life in the wilderness. And here he went from being Israel's greatest hero and kings and King Saul's son-in-law to being the most wanted man in Israel and the Canaanite territories. Ready? On your hero, be a Yapana kumuno. Hey, Balalu Shekataya. So through God's providence, he had narrowly escaped death by many times from both Saul and the Philistines. And he could no longer hide among the Jews or the Philistines. People of God, even receiving assistance from the high priest Abimelech led Saul to slaughter Abimelech. And the other priest in his town. Oh, I pray that David sought from God. He sought the Lord. So God did not deliver David merely to preserve his life. Instead, he delivered him so that he could see David as his instrument to deliver others. God also promises to deliver you. God has promised to deliver you as you inquire from the Lord. May He preserve your life. May the Lord preserve your life and deliver you from evil hands like Saul. So, God's number one lesson from the passage the word service God delivers you so that you will deliver others. Service. David served the Lord. As you walk with God, even as your enemies are seeking to harm you, to destroy your life, serve the Lord. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will deliver you from evil hands. 
be a David to serve, be a David to others in need. Like David, God delivers believers so that they can use, he can use them to deliver others. Jesus is the true light of the world. He came to free the oppressed. And he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Wherever you are hearing my voice. So number one, service. Number two, inquiring from the Lord. God delivering you from evil ways. Number two, obedience. God delivered those who are obedient to his word. First Samuel 23 verse 5. You read. It said, so David and his men went to Keilah and fought with the Philistines and brought away their cattle and smote them with a great slaughter. So David saved, saved the inhabitants of Keilah. Obedience. Obedience. God blessed David's obedience with victory. I pray that as you obey God, may he bless your obedience with victory. In the name of Jesus, by the power of God. When David and his men stepped out of their shelter in obedience, God blessed them with victory over their more powerful Philistines' adversary. I pray. Number three, be obedient to God's word, God's word, even if you don't understand the reason behind it. Be obedient to God's word. This was not the first time that David obeyed God's word. When the reasons may not have seemed clear, he also obeyed. I pray, I pray that we obey God. I pray that the Lord will be with us. I pray that we obey God in whatever we do. In the name of Jesus. May the blessings of God be with us. Number four, prayer. 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 God guides your deliverance with when you seek him in prayer. Seek the Lord in prayer. Be a prayerful person. Seek the Lord in prayer. And I pray that the Lord will be with you. May grace be sufficient for you. May the Lord sustain you. I pray May the power of God be with you wherever you are hearing my voice. As Rachibia Rebo, the Edikai David, as Summing, the Atoswebia, or your city, the Atoswebia, son, or the Nautra Radis of Dependence. God delivers you when you fully depend on upon Him. First Samuel 23 6 to 8. Number four, prayer. Prayer. And number five, encouragement. God uses believers in the body to both encourage and strengthen you while you wait patiently for him. May God be with you. May you experience the blessings of God. I'm Reverend Foster Kofi Ampof. I lift up prayer. May the Lord order your steps and may his blessings and his favor rest and abide with you. No weapon fashion against you shall prosper. God be with you. I'm Reverend Fonsa Kofi Ampofo, Minister of Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Minister in charge of revival and resurrection congregations. Peace and life to you. Bye-bye.